hey it's the empire don't forget to hit the like button the subscribe button and the bell icon for more videos be taking over let's go champ hit that like button hit that subscribe button right now let's go hey it's the empire geobasing empire back to boxing now man big news man the big boy division heavyweight division knockout artist undefeated french superstar fighter tony yucca man destroys johan juhapis in round one man now Tony, uh, Tony Yaka, great fighter, right? Eight wins, seven knockouts. Amazing fighter. Uh, you know, I thought this fight was going to be a lot closer. I didn't know who was going to win this fight. I thought, man, Tony Yaka's a good fighter, but this guy has entertaining fights, and he's fighting uh, Johan Duhapis. You know, I thought that Duhapis has a phenomenal chin. I still remember De that Deontay Wilder fight when Deontay Wilder was railing on him, and Deontay Wilder, it took a, a while to break down Duhapis. You know, one thing about Duhapis is he's extremely durable, and I didn't see uh, Yaka walking him down and beating him so quickly, but he did, man. He did. That being said, man, there's a, there's a couple. Uh, there's another French superstar in France that uh, Yoka can still fight. Um, that fighter being that fight being Carlos Takam. You know, Takam's still a phenomenal fighter, man. Uh, KG veteran, solid chin, extreme mind power. You know, I understand that uh, my boy Carlos Takam fought this year. He, he beat Jerry Forrest in the UD, right? Beat him in America, right? Um, Carlos Takam's always been a world warrior. He's always been able to travel all around the world to get W's, you know. Um, <laughs> besides America, he, he fought an O-tier arena and knocked out Sinad Gashi. You know, I can go on and on. This guy's fighting all around the world. So I think that... Uh, Carlos Takum is Tony Yaka's best step. And after that, man, you know, Tony Yaka needs to take on these world beaters. Um, what happens is um, Tony Yaka has an extremely high amateur pedigree. And what happens is when you have a high pedigree like a Tony Yaka, you're going to start getting big fights right away. So Tony Yaka, man, you know, and when he's fighting people like uh, Johan Duhapis, you know, at that point, and if he gets past Carlos Takum, if he fights him, uh, you know, at that point, you need to start fighting elite level opposition. You know, there's no reason to pat your record in the heavyweight division. You can get these titles off jump. You can get it right away. You can go to AJ route, which is the less, uh, you know, you never know who might beat you, man. These tough contenders in boxing, you, you never know what might happen. You know, you can get a whole bunch of wins in the heavyweight division, or you can just go for a title. And at this point in Yucca's career, he should get the title early and do the AJ route. You know, start fighting for titles when you're around a 20 uh, win mark or earlier you know that that's the really the good route to go so we're gonna see how yucca's career goes from here man i thought that was a, a spectacular victory for uh tony yucca man phenomenal fighter it's really good fundamentals in that fight he just broke him down he made it look easy let me know guys flip out though man like comment subscribe it's the empire geobasic empire Peace.